You might think English doesn't make that much of a difference to your life, but sometimes it can make a big difference. Like when you're writing a job application, when you're reading a contract, or when you're writing an essay in an exam. So it helps to know a few of the common mistakes people make all the time. Take, for instance, the word you. If you're talking to a friend at a party, you might say to him, are you leaving soon? However, when there are many people in the group, it's easy to make the mistake of saying, are you leaving soon? But in correct English, use is not a word. Unless you mean the word use, which refers to a female sheep. But that's another story. Funnily enough, it makes sense that people start saying use to help clarify what they mean. Because in correct English, the word you might be referring to an individual person or many people. It's a little unclear. Use has become a popular slang in Australia. But if you were to use it in an essay, you would be marked down. Or in a work situation, it might mean your job application is rejected. So what should you say when you want you to mean more than one person? Well, here's the memory trick. If you want to mean more than one person, use more than one word. Try you all, or maybe all of you. One day, use might become correct English, just like you are became your. But for now, play it safe when it counts. And just remember, if you want to mean more than one person, use more than one word. For more handy hints about language, go to academialiteraria.com.au.